What's poppin', what's cracking? Media Monster J Dub checking in. Y'all already know. Hit that like, hit that scrub. Did Tory Lanez and the baby scat song take the momentum away from Megan the Stallion's thought shit? I think it did. Alright. Thought shit was supposed to be as big as what? That's what um Megan the Stallion was hoping. We already seen and with the video, if you watch the video of Thought Shit, it had a whole um they were being thoughts and the, they were in the nightmare of this uh, Republican senator or whatever. That was the whole the whole video. They was inside of his dream or whatever. So that song was supposed to be like controversial. You know, she just she all Megan Stanley's always linking with the, the Democrats and stuff. Maxine Waters, yada yada, Joe Biden. We already know. So that song was supposed to be like women empowerment. So then, and then the video. Don't get me wrong. The video is good. But then when you compare it against the video that Tory Lanez. And the baby did, then it kind of it's cool, but it's right below it. The baby, it's, it's right, the baby and shit right there. Megan's video was good, I'm not gonna lie. That's one reason that I feel like that it kind of overshadowed. If you look at the numbers now, the baby shit is the baby and uh Tory Lane shit is doing better, goddamn me. And it had no promo. Megan the Stallion had a promo with her, with her single, it was out like a week before. They didn't have no promo. You feel me? The video, now Megan Thee Stallion video was edgy and it was controversial, but it wasn't as controversial and edgy as uh, the baby and uh, Tory Lane. It's like every little thing that she tried to do, it kind of feel like they just kind of one upped on it. Now, I'm not talking about the actual song. I like the actual bars that the baby had and Tory had in there. I like the bars that Meg had. I even I don't, I don't listen to that female shit. But I when I was listening and reviewing the video, I'm like, okay, the bars not bad. Megan can't rap, but people kept saying that Megan was sounding the same. That's what a lot of people were saying. Like you know, she sounds repetitive. She only makes the same rapping about her vagina all the time. That's all she want to do. You know what I'm talking about? So, but me personally, to me, that's what they all. This is that's what all these females rap about. So. I won't just single her out like right there and say, oh, that's all she rap about. That's what they all rap about. But her flow and delivery to me, man, got a fire ass flow and delivery. You know what I'm saying? Fellow H Town native myself. So I only thing I just feel like she put herself in a box when she came out doing that thought shit. So now you can't do nothing else. And now that people are saying it's sounding the same and it's sounding repetitive, now what do you do? And, and the thought shit's not taking off like you thought, because the baby shit is taking the baby and Tory Lane shit is taking off further than the thought shit. Just by a little bit. But it's just the even the fact that it's close, it's you know what I'm saying that throw it throw you some like damn Megan you falling off. The people gonna start thinking you, Megan uh, how uh how you let Tory Lanez come back and bounce back on you like that with the baby. So it, that's why she had to respond and put that out. That's why I feel because ain't no need to put nothing on no internet. She had to say it because she felt the pressure. She knew like bro this video you know as an artist man this damn video is good like. This, this video hit for something. I know. So let me go ahead and ruffle a few feathers, get on the baby ass. And then when the baby start going back for it, I'm going to get my boyfriend. So that's going to cause a little bit more controversy. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to get no deep that deep into it. That's it. Y'all hit the subscribe. Follow me on IG, all that good shit. Appreciate you